Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Mimo Mochi ice cream. I have the ripe strawberry. And I have a double chocolate. These were $5.49 a box at Meyer. Uh, there are six pieces. Six pieces for $5.49. There are 110 calories per serving. The picture looks like a little mini muffin. It does. They had different flavors. Uh, but now, I went to their website and they've got some really cool flavors like s'mores and stuff. We don't have anything like that. The ones that... Um, oh, oh, they're in a tray. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the ones that are in our Meyer were like uh, green tea was another one. And I think uh, mango might have been another one. And you know I wasn't going to pick those. And for $5.49 a piece, I just picked the two that I, I knew that we were more likely to enjoy. So like I said, one piece is 110 calories. Uh, My Mo is a uh, miraculous match of magnificent mochi dough <laughs> with marvelously mouth-watering ice cream. Yeah. But if you had to describe it with just one word, it'd be, mmm. These mind-blowing mouthfuls come from master mochi makers who methodically mix and meld the mushy mo mochi with milky, melty ice cream. The result, a majestic marriage of mesmerizing flavors that'll make you say, more. I think I did brilliantly. You did very good. Right I, the tongue twister. I had never read that before. So I'm, ama I'm amazed they didn't find an M word for um, um, mochi. No, for you what? said something at the end. Um, for more. No, no, no. Majestic no. marriage of mesmerizing flavors. 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 No, that will make you say no. There was something in there. I don't know what it was. Something else that should have been an M word. You thought? Yeah. I can't imagine another M word. No, there, you said something that was like a. Uh, Something else is like, I'm amazed they didn't say an animal. Flavor. These are uh, soy free, gluten free. It's www.mymomochi.com. Uh, These are made in Los Angeles, the California. Result. It said the result, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm amazed there's no M word for result. An, an, an M word. Oh, they're soft. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's like a jelly on the outside. Um. I got gelatin. I like the ice cream. It says on the side, which I just read this, it's okay. How to enjoy. Keep frozen until Mimo time. Let Mochi sit a minute or two and then enjoy. I knew to let these sit out. They've been sitting out for like six or seven minutes because Rachel saw these in our grocery haul and she said, I always let mine sit out for 10 minutes before I try them, before I eat them. So I can really enjoy them. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do that too. Mm. I didn't know you were supposed it to do that. Good. So I'm glad. Thank you, Rachel, for letting me know that's how you eat yours, because that's how I knew to do it. It says they have sweet mango. That's what I was One saw. mango and green tea, and then strawberry, vanilla bean, cookies and cream, double chocolate. Um, they have other ones though. I know I saw s'mores on their website, and there were other ones, but that's a big one. It's 110 calories. This is the double chocolate. It says, play with it. Pinch it, poke it, squeeze it, stack them, roll, roll one to a friend, sink your teeth in. Wipe the powder from your lips, feel the sensation changing with every bite. It's sweet and cool and gooey and great. It's creamy meets chewy, silky meets soft, delightful meets delectable. It's a riddle only a tongue can unravel. It's luscious ice cream wrapped up inside deliciously squishy mochi dough. It's my mo. It is a squishy um, dough. It's like a gel. gel well, I tell you what, I like the little things written on the, the packaging. That texture is very weird. The ice cream is really good, by the way. Mm. Um, I think I like the strawberry better than the chocolate, but both of them have been really good. Hmm. I can describe that chocolate. Okay, out of the two, I like the strawberry better. The strawberry just has a fresh, mm -hmm. wonderful oh strawberry uh, flavor. But I can describe the chocolate really well. When mom used to make pudding, back in the olden days, you used to make pudding on the stove. Cook pudding. You can still do you, that. You could cook well, it. I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. I mean, I haven't done that in 20, 30 yep. years. Uh, but you can cook it on the stove. And then you would put it in the refrigerator in these little containers that didn't have lids on them. 
and they would get this thick film. If, if, if film on them if you left them in there for a few days and so it was chocolate pudding with a thick film that's what the, that that texture is yeah it's that film that. it's definitely kind a of jelly pudding. like chewy yeah yeah they're good they're different i think they're good i think they're very good i think i, I bet you andrew would absolutely hate that Oh, you don't think he because could deal with he, the texture? I don't think he would like that texture because he doesn't like Turkish Delight texture, that yeah. gelatin kind of texture. <laughs> he would not like that. Probably wouldn't. But I love the ox cream in the middle. I do too. And the texture of the thing's a little weird for me too, but I think I would I think that. it's I think it's really good. I think it's a little expensive. Uh five forty nine for six, but I don't know how hard it is to make either. It yeah, you're basically paying almost a dollar a piece. Yeah, may, maybe it's very difficult to make. I, I just don't know. Uh, but I do I like the packaging. I like how they've done it. I like the, the time that they took to write up the little things on the back. And I'm I'm sure you know these had their um uh, own uh, words. I'm sure that each box says something cute, so you could just pick it up and read them if you were curious about it. Marketing appreciates your your thinking. Maybe. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I do. I, I think that I think that's cool. Yeah. So, you know, if you buy them, it, you should take the time to read the back of the box because because you know that's that, that's part of it. Uh, so I think these are good. I think mm -hmm. they were fun to try. I do not plan to try the green tea or the. Um, uh, the mango but if we got like the s'mores or some of the other specialty flavors i would definitely try those i think they have vanilla bean i would try those if we ever got them in our area because i think they're they're pretty good yeah because the quality of ice cream and the flavors are really yeah, good yeah it's very nice so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching